What's up guys and welcome back to another video where we're going to be going over a celebrity supercar collection. If you've seen one of these videos before, you know how it works. All you have to do is comment down below a celebrity you'd like us to cover in next week's video. Today, we are going to be talking about the one and only Michael Jordan. Now, no introduction necessary for this one. Michael Jordan, one of the most legendary athletes of all time, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. With a net worth estimated at over $2.1 billion, he definitely has plenty of money to play around with and to buy nice cars with. He's clearly a big you know, car guy. He's had car cars for many, many, many years. Uh, he's made a bunch of money, obviously, through his basketball career and endorsements there. But most of his fortune actually comes through his partnership with Nike and his shoe line Air Jordans. Michael's had a bunch of cars. We're going to be talking about McLaren SLR 722, a bunch of Chevrolet Corvettes, and loads of cars which I'm not, it's very hard to confirm what he's got. There are so many rumors of cars that he's got or had, uh, but there aren't actually photos to confirm. So I'm going to start now with all of the cars which are confirmed. There's photos of him with them. And then at the end of the video, I'm just going to list off a few which he's rumored to have had. First car we know he had was when he first signed with the Chicago Bulls. He got a contract with a local Chevrolet garage and had to do a few little advertisement pieces for them, marketing pieces, and in return, he received a Chevrolet Corvette C4. Now, obviously, classic American V8 Chevrolet Corvette, but he did not stop there. He later on, when he could, bought himself a Chevrolet Corvette ZR1, which is a more powerful and actually more rare in his case because he bought a limited edition of at Chevrolet Corvette. There were only 200 of his ever made in a really nice burgundy color. And he was actually seen driving this around a lot, showing up to practice in this. You can actually see it in The Last Dance, which is a documentary by Netflix, uh, which is really popular at the moment. And I think probably one of the main reasons why people are commenting about his car collection on our videos at the moment. It's a great documentary. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. He went straight from Chevrolet Corvette to kind of the polar opposite, because Chevrolet Corvette's like the classic American brutal V8 car to the classic British Aston Martin DB9. V12 over six liter V12, close to 500 horsepower, is an animal under the skin, but looks really, really classy from outside. Now, when these came out, a hugely expensive car, so it was one of the first big car purchases for Michael Jordan, but obviously with him being basically the best player in the world at the time, he could afford it. He then went straight over to Porsche and got a Porsche 930. By 930 with uh, what we call a flat nose. So it's got pop-up headlights and it was a big diversion from what the 911 uh, usually was uh, with the classic round headlights, which you still see today. Now the 930 and the 996 uh, generations uh, were two cars which had different headlights and Michael Jordan was actually uh, reported to have a coupe and a convertible of these. Clearly quite likes his German cars as you'll see uh, uh, in, in videos to come, but this was a mass produced uh, 911, but one which people are kind of intrigued by and is sought over at the moment because of its original design and the fact that it really stands out compared to other 911s. He didn't hang around Germany too long. He went straight to Italy afterwards and made a pretty long stop at Ferrari. One of the first he got was his 512 TR. Now these are classic looking Ferraris, really, really cool. It's not the most popular uh, in the Ferrari lineup, but uh, definitely was one of the most expensive back in the day. He reportedly paid $221,000 for his Ferrari, which meant it was by far his biggest car purchase when he bought this blacked out beast, which he was seen kind of taking to practice and uh, really was kind of a statement. Back in the day, you know, basketball players obviously did not earn quite as much as they did today. So having a top of the range Ferrari like this was a statement to other players. I'm here, I'm Michael Jordan, I'm the best, and I've got the sickest car at training. So um, yeah, you see in this documentary he has so many different ways of kind of intimidating and proving that he is the best to his teammates and I'm sure this was a strategic decision to, to buy this car as well. He was then also seen having a brief stop in a 550 Marinello. Only really one photo of him in this. Again, similar top of the range Ferrari. This is a front engine V12 however and is very similar to another car which he was reported. There's reported everywhere that he has this so I've considered it as confirmed even though we weren't able to find a photo of him actually driving one. It is a 
599 GTB. So apparently uh, Michael Jordan bought a 599 GTB just as it came out. This is a naturally aspirated V12 Ferrari, which actually has the same engine as the Ferrari Enzo, just slightly different in a few ways. But a uh, legendary engine, legendary car was available in two, well, three different variants. The GTB, the HGTE, which was a handling package you could buy for your GTB, or the GTO, uh, which was a hardcore, more powerful version. Reportedly, his was a standard, if you can call it that, 599 GTB. He then went back to Germany, and this time to the Silver Arrows, to Mercedes, to AMG, where he bought himself an SL55 AMG, which was, at the time, kind of the coolest Mercedes out there, the coolest daily you could have. Hard top convertible, twin turbocharged, well, by turbo V8, yeah, around 500 horsepower, sounded awesome, uh, and looked great. And at the time, it was a real statement car, kind of how like a G63 is today. It was the car, if you were successful, you got yourself an SL55 AMG. So he didn't hang about, he got one of those, but just to one up all of the others, all of the other extremely wealthy people had an SL55 AMG, he bought a McLaren SLR 722. So the McLaren SLR was a project between Mercedes and McLaren, while they were still working together. It was kind of the ultimate in hypercar royalty back when it came out alongside the Porsche Carrera GT and the Ferrari Enzo. They made a limited, slightly more powerful, slightly more rare, even more expensive version of the SLR called the 722, which was the ultimate statement car. And still today is worth a ton of money. 722 is worth quite a lot more than standard SLRs. Slightly lowered, blacked out lights, a bit more power and a lot more rare. And he bought himself one of these. Now we get onto the rumors. Now, now, a video came out which was uploaded by a YouTube channel called The Mundial Team. It doesn't have that many views yet. It's only got, un well, it's got under 5,000 views, which is still a huge amount of views, but it's not massive, massive, which reportedly is inside Michael Jordan's car collection. Now, I can't confirm nor deny this, but what's for sure is he's definitely got the funds to own all of these cars. What is in this garage is a Carrera GT, a white Ford GT, a GT3 RS 4 liter, a GT2, an R8, a Turbo, a couple other Ferraris. I mean, a bunch of cars, uh, all in what looks like a hangar, which is really cool. I mean, I hope these are all his cars. He's also been reported to have bought a Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir, which is a uh, kind of limited edition of the Bugatti Veyron. No mechanical changes, purely just design. Another person who reportedly, well, who actually confirmed he had a Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir is Drake. So yeah, does he have one? C potentially. All we could find was a few articles stating he did, few stating he didn't, no photos. So can't can't confirm nor deny that, but definitely I'm sure over the years uh, there are a bunch of cars which he's bought, sold, had, which we are not aware of. He's been very discreet with those. So yeah, I mean, it's awesome to see that. The ones that we know he's confirmed between Corvette, Ferrari, and McLaren, so many cool cars. Definitely has great taste in cars, and I'm sure there's plenty locked away. The man who's kind of had two careers, being the best athlete in the world, and now being one of the best businessmen out there. Um, so he's nailed life. Absolutely Absolutely fascinating documentary on Netflix. I highly recommend it. And let me know in the comments down below if you know of any other cars uh, that he definitely owns. Whilst you're at it, comment the celebrity you'd like us to talk about next week and subscribe if you are not already. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.